This is Fernando de Naronia. It's a beautiful archipelago located nearly 300 miles off the coast of Brazil. A UNESCO World Heritage Site, it is home to a variety of sharks, among them lemon sharks. As shown in part one of this video series, they gather all along the island's shores. They hug the shores in search of sardines, their favorite meal. And their movements here are nothing short of beautiful. Because there are so many lemon sharks, they are the species most likely to be encountered by humans on the island. However, it's the tiger sharks that have caused concern. In January 2022, an eight-year-old girl lost her leg while swimming along this beach on the island's south shore. We know lemon sharks roam these waters, but just how common are tiger sharks near the shore here? So I headed south and I met up with local scientists to see if the view from above could give us clues. Up until this day, I'd never seen a tiger shark myself, but that would soon change, and in a big way. Although there are sporadic records of foraging behavior of tiger sharks preying on sea turtles around the island, the footage I would capture here would be the first drone footage showing the attempted predation by tiger sharks on turtles in Fernando de Naronia. With the view from above, I aim to discover what exactly is going on at this location. This bay is vital to the island's health. It has the only mangrove on an oceanic island in the South Atlantic. In the heart of the bay, two sharks can be seen, both less than 100 yards from the shore. One of these sharks is swimming toward a sea turtle. Sea turtles are plentiful here, and from above, it's apparent that tiger sharks know this. The second shark approaches the turtle, in what would be a dance that would repeat over and over in the middle of the bay, the sharks seemingly brush by the turtles without striking. Almost every time, the turtle simply turns its shell to the shark and gracefully moved out of the way. The tiger shark continues on the path. Up ahead, more turtles can be seen, each dark patch marking a sea turtle in the murky water. From above, you can see the dynamic at play. Although the shark in the deeper water doesn't appear to strike, the result is that it is slowly moving the turtles into shallower and shallower water, which is exactly where the second shark is patrolling. Over and over, this slow dance between the two species continues. Whether this is by purpose or coincidence, it does raise questions about tiger shark tactics in the bay. The tiger sharks seem to be employing a tactic that benefits each shark not attacking the turtles, but simply moving them into advantageous locations. Of note here is that these tiger sharks are juvenile sharks that are likely inexperienced. It may very well be a tactic used only by young sharks as opposed to fully adult tiger sharks. Fernando de Neroni has the largest global genetic diversity of tiger sharks, further underscoring the importance of the island chain for tiger sharks in the world. As I observed this shark, it suddenly decided to exit the bay. Of note here is that the shark exits the bay from the furthest western edge of the reef, the opposite side from which it entered. And so I landed, and I knew there were more sharks in the bay. And it didn't take me long to find another one. Once again, a shark entered on the eastern side of the reef, riding the waves, perhaps to conserve energy. The path is similar to the previous shark. While it's proven tiger sharks eat turtles, data gathered by scientists at the island suggests these tiger sharks may also be eating nurse sharks, which are also found in this bay. This tiger shark enters and the turtles immediately take notice. While this tiger shark approaches from the deep, the other tiger shark in the shallows is now surrounded by a dozen turtles. The dance begins again. But would this shark actually strike now that it's in the shallows? It certainly has a variety of targets to choose from here. But it continues, 
and it continues to seemingly pass the turtles without making a strike? Is it looking for the right opportunity? And how shallow is too shallow? Several turtles are now resting in this area. This is the location where the recent shark attack occurred. Could it be a strike zone? Not yet. These turtles simply seem to move out of the way as a tiger shark once again passes by. It's the same story. Some turtles don't even bother to move. When filming sharks from above, you can see the subtle differences in their movements. This time, the shark is moving just a little bit differently. It's got some speed. The turtle seems a bit more frantic in its movement as well. This dance just got a little faster. This is a pursuit. And then, contact. The turtle is captured, but just briefly, and what ensues is pure nature. The turtle miraculously escapes, and in a display of amazing speed, the chase is on. Somehow, this turtle is outrunning the shark, until, finally, safety. The eastern side of the reef, the very part the shark entered from, is now too shallow due to the tide. The shark also retreats for its own safety. Did we just witness something that happens every day in this bay? What secrets are there to find? Fernando de Naronia is a paradise, and it's a paradise with many secrets. It's a place I can't wait to return to.